This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Remember the can I adopt a cat flow chart? Build an app that answers that question. Oh. Okay. Can I adopt a cat? If I can, I have $40 and I'm older than 14. So you have to be older than 14 and you need 40 bucks. And here's the flow chart here. So if both of those are true, right? And and means both. So this means money equals 40. Really, if you have over 40, that's fine too, but that's fine. If money is exactly 40 and if age is greater than 14, then you can adopt a cat. If either one of these is false, nah, you have 25 bucks or nope, you're 11, can't adopt a cat. All right. So let's see. Does this do anything? It looks like we have some errors. Nope. Syntax error, line 11, line 13, character 7, and others. Okay. Add code. Get the number the user inputs for their age and money. Use get number instead of get text. Okay, and write Boolean expressions inside of the if statements that checks if the money is equal. All right, so update the variables here. So get money, got it. So how are we going to do that? Well, I need to know, let me reset what, see here, their age is age number and the money's money number for the ID. So we can still use this stuff, right? I can still go get number. I can also always, by the way, you can click. You can see more examples. You're like, we haven't used this in a while. What is this? Get text, write text, text input, all of that good stuff. So we want to get text on the event that they click the adopt button. We want to get text from, oh, nope. We want to get number. They told us that. We want to get number from two things, right? We want their age and the money. So get number, get number. What do you want here? Age number, money number. And what should I set this equal to? It looks like we already have variables for them. So that's great. I'm going to say age is equal to get number, age number. And then I'm going to see money is equal to get number, money number. And I'll always check these missing a semicolon. Yep. Boom and boom. Super helpful there. All right. So now we're getting that text, hopefully, but our if statements are empty. Let's see what this is saying. Write the expression below that checks if their age is over 14 and money equals, and they kind of gave it away here. So first off is money is equal, equal 40 and, and remember we're asking for both things. So and, and, and age is greater than 14. And remember what this does is the computer now will say, okay, if your money is equal to 40 and age is greater than 14. So if they say, yeah, my money's 40, but I'm nine. Well, this is a false statement. Then the computer says false, skips it and runs whatever is in the else statement. This and, and is critical. Okay. Let's take a look. Maybe we'll let us go to blocks. Yep. All right. Let's take a look. 15. $40. Oh, I kind of liked that picture. All right, let's try it again. Let's say I am nine and we want to test several cases here and I have $55. Nope. Okay, well, let's try one more, right? So we tested age, but what if I'm 55 and I have $2? No. All right, so that's critical. The and and is critical to, to get both. You also want to pay attention to IDs. Here, get age, get number, age number, get number, money number. Cool. Onward.